Hey guys, Mr. Burns here again. I'm going to be taking you through in this video um, four examples of some problems that involve powers and bed mass as well. For those of you who don't remember, bed mass stands for brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And that's basically the order that we do any operation in, and that's a, we use it as a guide to help us solve expressions. All right, so this first example uh, is, a, is a sort of a simple yet tricky example. The reason being is because we've learned all these exponent laws and we, we want to use them. But the reality is that we don't have any exponent laws for subtracting powers or adding powers. If we're to do this problem, only option we have is basically just straight up do it. So what you have to think about is um, when you're doing these bed mass problems, can we use bed mass? Can we use our exponent laws? And let's try and keep it as simple as possible. Alrighty, so this first one. So with this, we don't have any exponent laws here. We're going to follow bed mass. We're going to do our exponents first. So we're going to do these first. So 4 cubed, that's 4 times 4 times 4. That's 64. And 4 squared, that's going to be 16. 4 times 4, so now we have 64 minus 16. And that's going to give us 48. This is a great multiple choice question on a CRT for grade nines. Um, you might see it. You never know where it could show up, but it's, it's it, it should be money in the bank if you see it there. Okay. All right. This next question throws in a couple of operations. We've got some uh, addition, multiplication. We got some powers. We got a negative base there. So let's have a look at it. So we're multiplying powers here, but we're not multiplying powers at the same base. So what we had to recognize is. Um, We've got to do the exponents first. We've got to take care of those powers. So we'll just keep this 2 to the 3. And as I always say, guys, keep writing down the page. Rewrite your expression with the uh, simplified workings on it. All right, so negative 2 in brackets cubed. So remember what I said. We have a negative base and an odd exponent. We're going to have a negative answer. So that's going to be the same as uh, negative 8. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, that's going to give us negative 8. And 4 squared, that's going to be 16. Okay, so now we can actually take this and work it out a step as well. We could have done that in the last step if we want. 2 cubed, that's just 8. And I'll leave this one the same, just so I'll move it too complicated. All right, so next step. So we got to take care of this. We got to do our. We can't add these two together yet and get zero, right? We have to first do our multiplication. We got to take care of our bed mass. A lot of people would have the tendency to go eight plus negative eight is zero times sixteen. That gives us an answer of zero. That's not going to give us the correct answer. We got to take care of this multiplication because in bed mass, multiplication comes before addition. Okay, so negative six, negative eight times sixteen. That's going to be. Um, Negative 128, I do believe. Negative 128. Okay. So now we got to do this problem. 8 subtract negative 128. That's going to be negative 120. Okay. So again, that's a tricky problem. And make sure that you follow bed mats. Very important. All righty. Next one. So again, we have some brackets going on here. We got a subtraction sign. We got a negative base here. So again, look at your bed mass. All right. Um, so we got to follow our bed mass. So we look at we got some something inside the brackets here. Now the thing about bed mass is when you go inside the brackets. You start with bed mass over again. So if there's any brackets inside of brackets, you would have to start with them. If there's any other operation, we only have subtraction here, but we'd have to start with those and go down through again. All right, so uh, 10 minus 5, that's going to be 5 squared minus, and then we can do this exponent in the same step if you want to. So we got uh, a negative base with an odd exponent. That's going to be a negative answer, so it's going to be negative 27. Right, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, or negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, negative 27. So then we got uh, the situation, so uh, 5 squared is 25, uh, minus a negative, we can change that to plus, plus, 
Okay, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So we plus 27, and that's going to give us 52. Okay. All right, last example here. All right, so this is an example. I threw this one in here just because um, we always have to keep in mind our exponent laws. If we can use our exponent laws, then we want to make sure that we, we should use them because they do make our life a lot easier. For instance, with this one, we're multiplying powers, we're dividing powers at the same basis. We could um, we could work this out to be, you know, for whatever this is, whatever that is, multiply them and then divide them, we're going to get the exact same answer. But if those were big, if this was, say, 10 to the 2 and 10 to the 6, then it'd be a complicated, we have big, big numbers, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. So we got negative 2 to the 2 times negative 2 to the 6. We use our exponent a lot, that's going to give us negative. 2 exponent 8 divided by negative 2 exponent 3. Next step, for dividing powers, we subtract exponents. Up here, we're multiplying powers. We added exponents. So we're going to have negative 2 to the 5. And again, a negative base, odd exponent. It's going to give us a negative answer. So negative 2 times 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 negative 32. All right, guys, so I hope this helps. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact on YouTube or, or comment on my site. Um, good luck with your study and see you in class.